Hey everyone, this is Tony from Pocket Now, and we are here in London at the Samsung event. And this is the Samsung Tiff Q, which is either a Windows tablet or an Android tablet, depending on your choice. It is right now running Windows, but flipping to Android is just one touch away, and it's that fast. Let's take a close look in this hands-on. So we are right now in Windows mode and it doesn't really matter because we are going to talk about specifications and I'm going to start with the weight. This is a pretty hefty tablet. It weighs 1.29 kilograms and that's probably because the materials used this. These are all premium materials including the back part and the front part. We have a 13.3 inch display and according to Samsung this is the highest resolution on a tablet. It's got 3200 pixels by 1800 pixels for a total PPI rating of 275. Samsung also specifically called out the exceptional outdoor visibility of this tablet. It works perfectly in direct sunlight. Now, switching between the two operating systems is this easy, this fast, and it is possible with the help of Intel's brand new Haswell chips. Some other specifications include four gigabytes of DDR memory, up to 256 internal storage on SSD, of course, and we have a 720p camera up top and uh, a gigabit ethernet but let's go around the device and i'll show you where exactly these are right now we'll see that there is the power plug the micro hdmi the volume rockers for volume up and volume down and this button right here is the auto rotation on off button on the front there's the samsung branding and the 720p webcam and of course the obligatory windows button which uh, brings you back to the home screen or brings you back to your previous application in which case right now it just switches between the two OS's and Samsung specifically called out the fact that you can pin Android applications on this home screen of Windows 8. Let's continue with the tour on this part right here we have the uh, power standby button we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack but once you convert this because this is a convertible other ports are being revealed so we're lifting this up right here and it reveals a full-size QWERTY keyboard with the mouse buttons and of course the trackpad for for your mouse the screen can be propped up like this Samsung also said that we can use it as a floating screen in case uh, you want to show off something to somebody else and uh, let's try to rotate it a little bit you can also prop it up like this so many many ways to use this tablet of course the accelerometer automatically adjusts the orientation some other ports as i told you are being revealed once the tablet is in this mode and right here you can see the micro sd expansion there we can uh, extend the internal storage further and on the opposite side you can see the uh, usb ports it has a usb 3.0 as well as a usb 2.0 port but the specs don't stop here because as you can probably spot in this video we have the s pen which is bundled and the s pen works seamlessly under windows and uh, once you press the button it acts as a uh, right click and it also works in android as as usual and since we are here in android let's take a look at the uh, version of android running here we have android.4.2.2 and as you can see there is no skin on top of it samsung didn't include anything this is as stock as it gets even more there are no not even samsung applications and we're guessing that since it's going to ship with the s pen samsung will at one point probably before launch before availability bundle all its s applications from the galaxy note 2 and the galaxy note 10.0 so to wrap it up this is a convertible it is called a tiff q it switches seamlessly between android and windows 8 you can prop it up like this or use it as a tablet with the add-on s pen 13.3 inch screen with a qhd plus resolution of 3200 by 18. this was a quick look at this awesome tablet we'll probably have this in our labs for a review i've been anton still in london still lots 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 of videos to shoot thank you very much for watching stay tuned